And what is up everybody and welcome back to season two of Weekend War Bucks. You would be amazed how many times that actually took me just to say that opening. It's been that long. This season on Weekend War Bucks, we're going to be testing out a lot of products and also I want to be testing out a lot of car detailing accessories like this. I had a company reach out to me, so shout out to Jane that sent me this and says, hey, I want you to test out my brand new spray nozzle and, you know, here, have a uh, wonderful wash mitt while you're at it. So I said, sure, I'll be glad to test out your spray nozzle and uh, we'll do it right on camera this way that you get my actual first time results using it. At first, I wanted to try it out by myself, you know, just to get used to the thing, but I thought, well, what's the fun in that? You're not going to get a real reaction out of me. So right now with this regular garden hose attachment, things that I like about it, right here, this this is a four ounce soap dispenser. I don't know if it's gonna work that well. I, I would assume that there was a straw in here, but didn't come with one, so whatever. It also comes with uh, additional like washer and hose attachment if you wanna do that kind of thing, depending on how your uh, hose is set up. So let's go ahead and test this bad boy out. Let's hook it up. And one of my main things I like right off the bat is this, is the handle. You don't even have to hold it in. It just stays in and that's that makes a lot of difference. That's, you know, for someone that's, I don't want to say lazy, but <laughs> someone that doesn't like to hold the hose all the time. So instant release. There you go. Really easy. Let's get this hooked up. Let's give it a try. All right. So I have already disconnected my old nozzle right here. And uh, let's see how the brand new nozzle, you know, works here. I don't have to use the attachment because it's the, uh, the same size uh, as my hose. So right now, feels like it's a nice fit. Uh, let's uh, hope for the best here. Let's uh, turn on the water and see if there's any leaks. That's a good sign right there. All right, so let's just go ahead and um, on top here you're going to see, hopefully you can see this, uh, you're going to see water right here and soap solution. So you'll be able to, uh, you know, adjust um on top here how much soap you want to use that's the all the way to uh what is that the right you know a lot of soap a little bit of soap tiny bit of soap and then obviously full full pressure with uh water so let's go ahead and fill this up with soap and then we're gonna see uh what kind of wonderful uh suds we're gonna get i'm not expecting anywhere near a foam cannon uh type soap or suds but uh uh, we're gonna see what happens. I could be completely amazed. Let's pull the truck out and let's get washing. First things first, we'll just test it out. No soap whatsoever. We'll just see how all the, uh, the, the settings are, see if the water pressure is good, all that fun stuff. So right now it's straight on shower, nothing major. Obviously, regular setting. <clears throat> regular amount of Hose pressure you would normally get with uh, with yours at home. Let's try. So it has mist, cone, rinse, stream, flat, center, jet, and of course shower that we were just on. Let's try jet. It's not the most powerful. This is water all the way up. Let's turn the water down. All the way up. All the way down, not really much of a difference. Let's put some soap in. Let's see how that does. All right, so I have filled it up with four ounces, 100 cc's of Meguiar's Gold Class Soap. This stuff works great in a regular foam cannon and just a uh, regular foam gun. So hopefully this is gonna do uh, well with this. How about we start out with center? Uh, we'll see if that gets any suds going to stream. I don't think it's gonna work all that well. You know what, maybe we'll start with shower um, and see how this goes. Let's hope for the best. Let's turn up the soap. A little bit of soap. 
As you can see, the soap is mixing right in here. Hopefully you can see that. This is a little bit of soap. The next amount of soap up. I'm actually kind of digging this. And now a full blast with soap. Not much of a change. All right, so as you can see, I just went around my car once. Soap's already gone. So this uses it pretty quickly. Obviously, four ounces of soap isn't much, but uh, I kind of dig it. I, I like that it just puts a nice even amount of soap. This would probably be great after you've already done like your foam cannon wash and uh, you just want to go ahead and wash down your car, um, you know, with, with just like your regular soap suds whatsoever. I think this would be a great way to get that started. So. Uh, let's go ahead and wrap up this demo and um, we'll go from there. All right, so for my final thoughts on this, uh, yeah, like I dig it as a, as a car tool just to, you know, apply some soap, but I honestly feel that something like this uh, would probably be a little bit better for maybe like your garden or something like that. Um, you know, you can put like your miracle Grow or whatever it is in this, uh, uh, in this attachment here. And then uh, plus, you know, you'll be able to uh, adjust the amount of water that comes out, how soft the water is gonna be hitting your plants, stuff like that. Um, as a regular car wash, uh, like, like I said, you know, just to put your first layer of soap down, that's cool and everything, but I wouldn't use this, uh, if your car was like heavily soiled or anything like that, this would be more of like a, uh, light wash type of tool. So, all right, again, thank you very much, Jane, uh, for sending this to me. And, uh, for any of you that are out there that are new to this channel, uh, let me know what kind of things that you would like to see me test on this channel. Uh, what kind of tips, techniques would you like to learn? And if I'm able to do that, I'd be glad to try and help you show you how to do it, that kind of fun stuff. So. That's going to be it, guys. You have a great day. Stay awesome, and I'll see you next time here on Weekend Warbucks.